pain. I'm tired of living inside the guidelines. So you're probably watching the news right now and you're finding out all the stuff that's going on with this illness. I will say illness because if I say the actual term, YouTube flags the video. There's a lot of people out there putting out clickbait and misleading messages. So we're just gonna stay away from that. March 19th as the illness. After seeing the stock market taking a nosedive, you're probably saying to yourself, isn't now the time to invest? Yes, I'm going in full-fledged, full force. Just to put a level of transparency here, I'm gonna show you guys my current portfolio on Robinhood, why I chose the stocks I chose, and uh, you know what my opinion is on the market and uh, what that's gonna look like, so stay tuned. Hey guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell for notifications so you're always up to date on what kind of content I'm releasing. And be sure to drop a like so that this way I know the material that I release is what you guys wanna see. Let's get into the video. Robinhood is a app that allows you to buy shares of stock on their platform at no commission. Usually when you deal with a brokerage, they require a commission. That, that could be TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, um, you know, Vanguard. Uh, but Robinhood, in my opinion, is a great app with features that help you get started in investing if you're a new investor. I definitely wanna start off by saying in this video that I am not a day trader. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a regular dude who is trying to help you guys out. I'm not here to tell you buy this so I could, you know, pump and dump and, uh, you know, make a little bit of a profit on a penny stock. Not at all what I'm looking to do. I really suggest you guys look into this app. I think it's super helpful. And now, especially now, is the time to download this app. If you want, below in the link is a sign up affiliate link to Robinhood. When you click that link and download the app, you will get a free stock and so will I gives you a first glance into the platform. Dive into the app. If you look at how this app works, you have one day, one week, one month, three month, one year, all time. If I hold on the line at the back here, you could see the date. It was all the way back in 2017 that I even had this app. I just never used it. So in the last week, if you're familiar with the illness, the stock market in all industries took a complete nosedive and you can see that over here at, at the corner here overall i've invested about three thousand six hundred and forty seven dollars but you can see i've lost three hundred and fifty dollars now wouldn't that want to send me into a panic and sell everything off right away no i personally am looking for stocks that have been successful over a long period of time and have a really good dividend yield i want to scroll down and show you some of my watch lists one of the stocks i've been watching is tesla now, just to give you an idea, in the last week or month rather, let's go three months, you'll notice that Tesla was selling at $917 a share. Then with this illness that happened, all of the stock dropped drastically as he started closing plants. The fact that it's bottoming out right now makes it a really good time to purchase it. The reason I'm not purchasing it, unless it falls below $200, is because it's not a stock that gives a dividend. And you can see that in the bottom right corner of the stats right there, the dividend yield. Now, let's go into the stocks that I currently have and explain why. This is over 25 stocks. For starters, I decided I was gonna purchase the SP, SPHD, which is the Power Shares S&P 500, high dividend, low volatility. If you're familiar with the S&P 500 or some of these index funds or ETFs, they historically always grow up. Now you'll notice over the last five years, if you run your finger across this, it hasn't gotten lower than the 30 mark. The minute I saw it get lower than the 30 mark, which is about a week ago, I purchased it for 18 shares around $28. When this economy decides to rebound and bounce back, the object of the, or the, the assumption of these stocks is that they're gonna to continue to grow over time. That's why I'm taking this risk. I feel like I've gotten a five-year time machine opportunity from Back to the Future to go back five years ago and say, oh, wish I could have bought a stock then. That's what it feels like for all these stocks. So I bought 18 shares of the stock and you could see that the dividend yield is 5.92. That's a very good yield. Anything between two to four is something that 
is a healthy kind of business. Obviously, the higher dividends that you might want to grab, they would pay out more, but they could have a lot of risk tied to them. It isn't just the S&P 500. It's 50 of the top safest, if you want to say, dividend payout stocks. Next is RCL. You'll notice that the airlines and cruise ships took a major hit. When this happened, I started buying a bunch of airlines and I started buying a bunch of cruise lines. But then I realized I'd rather focus on the ones that have a dividend. For instance, Norwegian Cruise Line doesn't have a dividend, but Royal Caribbean does. So as you can see, the dividend here is 11.28. And given the status that we're in the economy because of the illness, you know, there's a lot of news every day, day to day, that you know something different is happening. You'll notice here in my position, I have 16 shares at an average $28 cost. Now, I could continue to throw more money at this because the price is $22. So for an investor like you, maybe you wanna purchase a couple of these at 22. And if I was to purchase them now, that would be averaging down my cost. Yes, I would like to do that. But if you look at the five year trend, it hasn't been down to 28 in like a long time. It was most recently at 140 at one point before it dropped all the way to 22. So I'm comfortable where I'm at at, at 18, uh, 16 shares of $28. Exxon Mobil, an oil company, I have that 12 shares with an average cost of 37 and the dividend yield is 9%. Again, this is not even 37 anymore, it's 34. At the current time that you're watching this video, all of these stocks I was purchasing just three or four days ago because I saw how much of a discount I was gonna get on them and I'm anticipating that the rebound effect is going to happen. The economy we are in right now is strong. This is just a, a really strange pandemic that happened to happen and it's affecting every industry. I wanna be very clear here. I'm not telling you guys that you should go out and spend thousands of dollars on stocks right now. It, it's actually the opposite. What I'm telling you to do is maybe click the link below get me a free stock thanks get you a free stock and start monitoring this if you if you go to the club or the bar every weekend and spend like a hundred to two hundred dollars on drinks especially now that they're asking you to quarantine and stay indoors maybe it would serve you better fiscally over time to take that hundred or two hundred dollars that you would normally spend on the weekend and just snatch up a couple of good stocks and watch it grow over time. That may help you learn the process so that you're more educated towards it and you can continue to do this. Also, some future videos, I'm gonna be doing something called treadmills, which is basically about health and wealth. I started it last week before the economy took a huge plunge and I only had five stocks. I'll refer to that in the first episode. The concept I'm trying to do is get myself set up for the next couple of years of life. I wanna lose 80 pounds, because I was 280, and I wanna grow my wealth exponentially. So my goal here on this channel is to do some videos to help you guys as well. Sign up to Robinhood below on the link, you'll get a free stock. Hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, this way you can always follow the content I put out. And maybe you leave some comments on where what you're looking to purchase. If you have questions, I'd be happy to answer. Love is Southwest. I have a bunch of stocks in JetBlue, but Southwest, as I mentioned before, pays a dividend. CGC is a uh, cannabis company. If you notice, it was very volatile in the beginning, but it dropped completely off and it's at $10. I just figured, you know, with more states legalizing marijuana and some brewing companies are doing CB, uh, CBD fused beers, maybe that's something we do in the future for Jones Beach Brewing Company. Now here's something else I did during this illness phase that we're going through. Instructor is a company that I used when I graduated with my MBA. It's an online learning class. My classes were half online, half in person. When this thing happened and all the colleges closed down, I realized, wait, there might be an opportunity here to buy a bunch of this stock since not only is everybody going to online classes, but it may serve you best to look up stocks like Zoom meetings, where companies use Zoom meetings all the time and everybody's not even going into work, they're working from home, but also churches are doing masses via Zoom meetings. So it may serve you right to think of these technological companies. See, it's five-year trend is constantly growing. So no matter when you really get in, it's on the rise anyway. They don't have a dividend tied to it, so it is a growth stock. 
but it's always good to have a few growth stocks in your portfolio, like a Tesla. I always try to match a dividend stock with a growth stock. So I, I was gonna buy Tesla if it gets under 200, it probably won't, but if it does, that'd be really cool. Um, but I bought a lot of Ford stock. It's one of my worst performing stocks, but I truly believe in Ford. And there's a couple of reasons why. It's a really strong dividend payout uh, with Ford. They do a really good job and they've been through everything. They've been through the Great Depression. The, they've been through the recession of 2008. I mean, you name it. This is a company I bought 50 shares. It's up a little bit, not much, but I do my own research. Some people would consider this a penny stock that they're trying to pump and dump. I'm not doing that. I got this company 50 shares at an average cost of 32 cents. Now my equity is $17. The reason I'm doing this is I've read in the news that Amazon is looking to use AG Eagle Aerial Systems for their drone services. So they're probably gonna you know, partner with them and help support their drone service. It's $17, 50 shares, whatever. I'm just gonna purchase this and watch it take off. You know. But the point I'm trying to make here is the reason I'm downloading this app is I'm taking my time to figure out how I could set myself up for success. I would suggest to you guys to just get familiar with the app. Right now, I personally feel is a great time to pick up some stocks. And if you find some things you're interested in, I always like to pick things I'm interested in. For instance, Smile Direct Club. It's a teeth straightener, uh, braces. That's a stock that I'm buying because I'm using it. Find companies that you think you are gonna succeed, companies you really support, and try to be in it for the long haul. Oh my God, if you, if you remember, if you're watching this video currently on the 19th or in the future, if you remember March 18th, I was sitting here sweating like, what is going on? Did I make a mistake? I was gonna panic and sell. A lot of people were saying, sell, sell, sell. No, no. If you already have the app, average down your cost per share by purchasing discounted shares. If you're just getting started, you are in at the bottom, or at least at some part of the, the curve of the bottom, whether it's the front or back end of it. Maybe not the full bottom, because it may continue to go down. And if it does continue to go down, this advice still would pertain to you. The only advantage you're gonna have over me is getting some of these shares at a better average cost per share. If a bunch of these go out of business and bankrupt, then that sucks, but I have a pretty strong feeling that's not gonna be the case. And if I am wrong, I apologize. Again, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm just a regular dude on YouTube answering people's questions about, you know, how I budget, how I finance, how I, you know, start businesses, how I do branding, how I did with my MBA. This is why I call the channel all around those. I suggest in the next 14 days, if you're interested in losing some weight and you know, looking at the market and talking about it with me, follow my series treadmills health and wealth and i'm gonna start this process of losing 80 pounds and i'm gonna start the process of you know building a really good portfolio and right now i have a pretty good amount of stocks that's it for today again if you appreciate some of the content i put out there smash that like button also hit that subscribe button for me and also leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are on the market where it's gonna go what you continue to see and you know hopefully we all come out on top have a good day and stay safe